So I'm going to give you four steps for approaching this essay. Um, I know it sounds like a lot, you know, it's definitely not an essay that you can just sit down the night before and, um, and, you know, um, and just write that essay and submit it the next day. Um, it takes a little bit more thought and a little bit more, more of a process, um, but that does not mean that it's difficult. Um, I actually think it's a really exciting process to, to go through and kind of um, do this self, self reflection and navel gazing and, and really figure out, you know, how to tell someone else who you are and what you're passionate about. You know, that's a skill that you'll have to use for the rest of your life. Uh, for the rest of your life, you'll be telling people what you're good at, what you're excited about, you know, what makes you, you. Um, so this is a really valuable process. And, and even to this day, you know, when co the Common App um, releases new questions, I will sit down and, and write sample essays just because it's, it's a really interesting reflective process. So these four steps um, are, are the way to come up with a game plan for completing your essay. Um, the first thing that I recommend students uh, to do is to explore all of the prompts. A lot of students, when they see the questions that are available on the Common App, uh, tend to just say, okay, that's an interesting topic. I'm gonna write about that and just leave it there. Uh, if you do that, then you exclude all the other things that you might have something interesting to, to talk about with. So I encourage you to see if you can come up with at least one idea for all of the prompts. It doesn't have to be the whole essay, but just, you know, read them and, and reflect and think, you know, is one of these going to tell something about me um, that is unique and personal, you know, something that's going to set me apart from the other students who, who are applying. Um, also, ask yourself, is this telling something new? Am I just repeating something that, you know, they can already find um, in my in my application? Am I just connecting a bunch of bullet points that I've already mentioned somewhere else in my application? Um, so really look at the samples um, that, that you've come up with. And the next step is to choose two or maybe even three of them that you feel meet those qualifications that are unique and personal. And go ahead and write an outline. Um, or if you're feeling really inspired already and you, you're ready to tell the story, you can start with the introduction. Go ahead and, and start to write and, and see where it goes. And keep coming back to these same, same questions and asking yourself, is this story still unique? You know, um, or am I writing about something that is specific to me or is it something that could happen to everybody in my school or, or even my country? Um, and also check and see what kinds of things this is telling about you, what kinds of personal characteristics or attributes is this essay sharing uh, with admissions? Um, what, what are we learning about you from, from this essay? And also decide what kinds of details you should zero in on. You know, if there's a question that's kind of a two-part question, uh, make sure that, um, that you're focusing on, on all of those. Um, and I see there's a question about having our email address. Um, um, I'll, I'll share my contact information at, at the end of uh, the session. So for the next step, um, go ahead and um, select your favorite one, you know, the one that seems to be really working well and you're excited to write, and go ahead and turn it into a full draft. Um, and then keep coming back to, to these questions. Uh, I see there's a question about what's a good introduction. That's a great question. And in the next part, um, after these steps, we're actually going to share with you um, some sample introductions, uh, and we can discuss this in more depth. So ask yourself these questions, whether it's still unique and personal. Um, is it sharing the characteristics that, that you want admissions to know about yourself? And also circle back and ask yourself, am I answering the question? You know, sometimes when we start to tell stories, we get a little bit carried away and off topic and you may start to write and realize that, oh, mm, I'm not actually answering the question. Um, but one, one thing to, to keep in mind is that the goal of this process of writing the essay is not to have the very best ever answer of all time to this question. The point isn't to um, have the best answer. But it's more about using this question as a touchstone, 
um, using it as something to reveal more about yourself. So don't get too caught up on having a perfect response to the question. Um, just make sure that it gives you this journey, that it tells this story and that you're moving on from there. Um, also check to see that everything is well organized and it's clear. Uh, remember that this is your one chance to, to tell your story to admission. So if it's overcomplicated, like I mentioned before, then it can be, um, you know, and, and it's hard for the reader to understand where you're going, um, then you may need to make sure that you organize it a little bit better and, and make it clearer. And then the final step is to edit and revise it and rewrite it. Um, one of the most important parts uh, is to share this with someone else, you know, share this with um, your best friend or with a parent or an Education USA advisor who can give you a little bit of feedback on this um, and ask them to ask those same questions that you've been asking yourself. Um, is this interesting? Is it memorable? Is it engaging to read? Um, also, these are people who know you, so ask them, um, you know, is this and unique and, and personal to me? And is it showing off things um, that uh, that admissions um, that that admissions would want to hear? Uh, I think the most successful essays are the ones that really, after reading them, I can imagine that student setting a, setting uh, across from me. And, uh, and really can imagine what they're like, what their personality is like. They really make that kind of personal connection. Um, and also make sure that it's your, your best ability to express yourself in English. So do get feedback on things like grammar and spelling, um, but don't let it go overboard. Make sure that it's still in your voice. Uh, also ask them if there's anything missing, if there are any gaps in your essay. Because you know, when we're telling stories that happen to us and everything is in our head, you know, since it's in there, when we start telling things, sometimes we'll leave things out just because you know we already know what happened, and sometimes we forget to explain parts to other people when we're writing. So make sure that that that's all there. So once you've gone through this process uh, and asked for the feedback and, and polished the essay, um, you can have a, a really strong piece of writing to submit. 